You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. What I said, if you cross an angry sheep and an angry cow, you get a bad mood. That's funny. Good. Uh, welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are again joined by the ever hench Paris. I, I, do you know what? Any more compliments? If you just keep going, my head's going to explode. <laughs> um, and not forgetting the ever hopeful Lee. What are you bringing us for the showbiz this week? Why are you looking ever at me weird? Hopeful. Ever hopeful. Okay. Do you not do you not live in a state of hope? Waiting for the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is that, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this week I'm bringing you a story about a film that is becoming a musical. But now on screen you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The Could.tv for our website and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of the people who have liked, shared or commented on our social media go along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. So how would you guys like to be like, told about news? I like to be in the loop. Okay so that I know exactly what people are talking about, because I have very Joey energy, and most of the time I have no idea what people are talking about. What's Joey energy? Just... Okay. <laughs> and just pretend like I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Kind of thing. Like Lee does in the showbiz. <laughs> Pretty much like all my life. <laughs> savage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What, what, what about you? How'd you, how'd you like I don't to know, I wasn't listening to what you're saying in the first place. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a surprise. <laughs> I was just chewed out waiting for death. How do, what do I like to do? What do I do? So, how would you like to be told about news? So how do you like to be news. told about news? Someone's got something to tell you. How do you like, do you like a surprise? Do you like it just be told, a text? Well, I'd prefer it that, you know, there wasn't, you know, like a, like a clown jumping out of a cake to say your grandma's died. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's that. quite, you know, <laughs> subtle. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. So, is that really news? Okay, your grandma's dead. She's been dead twenty years. Well, yeah, but um, you know, but like, you know that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, well, people are, are reacting to a TikTok where you know about gender reveal parties. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, well, people started to do pregnancy reveal parties. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. telling the partner that they're pregnant. Gotcha. Okay. And one of the more I'm going to say ingenious ways that someone's sharing that is um, to share their husband eating a popsicle. So a nice lolly. Mm. With the positive pregnancy test in it as the stick. Uh, dirty bastard. <laughs> Hang yeah. on a second, wait. So they put. So you know when you're making an ice lolly and you put a stick and in, then you put the juice in and you put it in the freezer? Yeah, it's already been juiced on, shall we say. To, yeah. Why is he sucking on it then? He doesn't know. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, that's the surprise. <laughs> right. So he's there going, nom, 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 nice ice lolly. Does he know there's a, there's a pregnancy test inside it? No. He just thinks he's having a lovely little ice lolly. Well, it's a bit warm. Oh, a nice lolly. How lovely. It's not a bit warm. Oh, no, as an outside. Real oh, <laughs> it's a bit so warm. I'm saying if you just peed it, <laughs> the freezer would have taken away the heat. Yes. Um. <laughs> mm. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that science that is, that lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing yes. makes things cold. But yeah, just decided to I'm going to use that as the lolly sticking. So she did the test. Went, oh, I'm pregnant. And like any other normal human being, <laughs> when I need to decided pop back some not fruit juice. to go and tell him and thought, ah, oh, put in a nice lolly. Mm -hmm. Is that what the in thing to do is? Is this how people reveal it's it? It's starting to happen a lot. Is this the world we live in? This is the world, we're, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Um, so... <laughs> oh, no, he's actually you. full he, on going the for it. the part of the test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing, is, is he's eating the ice lolly. You he looks like he's done this before. <laughs> <laughs> he's going, that, this, that, this tastes very much like last Thursday. That face is her going, I'm pregnant, but it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my pee. <laughs> but good news, the dog's pregnant. Uh, <laughs> he, looks, he looks like he's studying that. I pretty much kind of, it's either one way or the other, isn't it? It's not... No, he's studying going, what the hell have I just had in my mouth? Oh, OK. That's not a look of, oh, this is interesting. That's a look of, what have I just done? I think he's lying there. I think he secretly loves it. Yeah. I want to know what flavour it was. Piss. No, no. <laughs> the whole ice lolly. Oh, OK, <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, were they happy? Anyway, were they happy? Anyway. Uh, she was ecstatic. Oh, OK. Um, but, yeah, other people have used ice cream. Wait. So instead of having a flake in it, had to bring to test oh, the ice cream. Oh, the dirty people. What is wrong with people? What Just are they going to do next? Use it as a cotton earbud or something? Yeah. Come here, love, let me clean your ears. You're feeling hot. Here's my rectal thermometer. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. 
let's play there, shall we? <laughs> the rest of the world, so look, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> No, so we yeah. don't. We're not encouraging that. We're not encouraging. We're not that. starting that f palaver. <laughs> we're not starting that palaver. We're not. We're not encouraging that. I'm curious to know: is she a, min a millennial or is she a gen? She's a millennial. Okay. Yeah. I'm technically a millennial. A millennial. <laughs> I can't say Eliza the word. Minnelli? <laughs> Eliza Minnelli. <laughs> oh, I think it is. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> but moving on. Um, have you ever been in trouble with the with the law, Lee? Never. That's a good girl, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Paris? Moving away from quite really away from Lee. I mean, I've had a ticket for driving a little bit too fast, and I've learnt my lesson. So. Did you know you can get tickets for driving too slowly, Lee? What? Can you? Yeah. Really? Not Never been caught yet. No, um, no, no, no. Thirty miles an hour down the motorway. Um, <laughs> they get bored by the time I've gone past. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story about um, Matthew Hapgood? Who, basically, he was caught by the police doing something naughty. And the way he'd react to that was to basically blow Raz in the police officer's face. What was he doing that was naughty? Stealing. Oh, OK. We don't condone that here. No, we don't. <laughs> um, or blowing a raspberry in a police officer's <laughs> face. I was um, right. Don't try your home, kids. <laughs> oh. I'm finding him strange. Oh, hang on a second. That's not a raspberry. He says farted. It was a raspberry. Oh. It's oh. semi-clickbait. Oh, got you. Yeah, he did. Because that's what I thought as well. Like, he's dropped trow and... That will definitely land you in jail. Hey, well, <laughs> depends on the police officer, really. Well. Because <laughs> um, I know a couple that like it. Anyway, um, <laughs> but, yeah, um, he basically had a lengthy conviction anyway. So, 31 previous convictions for 83 offences. Um, 83 offences? Yeah, so he knew he, knew he was going to prison. OK. So I thought, why not? Why not round it off with a good one? YOLO, I'm going to <laughs> blow a raspberry in your face. Yeah. I'm finding him strangely attractive. <sighs> Is it because he farts or blows No! <laughs> <laughs> Is it because he's a little well, bit he's mysterious? He's a bit of me. He's, he's a bit mysterious. He's got, he's, got, he's got the eyes of a killer and I like it. <laughs> I... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Choke me. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> chase me, chase me, oh, chase me. <laughs> Chuck me and tell me I'm awful. Um, <laughs> I don't get off on that. Are you sure? Positive. Do you need a moment? Along with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine, Karim. And if likely you're into choking, you can also join us on our social media. It's at the Quid TV. Um, and that takes us quite nicely over to our story of the week. Now, you... you, you know, before we started, Paris mentioned that you've got a very nice fragrance on today. Fragrance. Fragrance, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know his links. It does smell good. It does smell good. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be babadooking the I link. Don't be do I. I don't know what it means. <laughs> babadooking? <laughs> I thought that was close to felting. Uh, what about you, Paris? What, what, what fragrance do you wear? Um, usually I go for a tonka bean. Nice. No idea what that is, but like <laughs> mixed with some like tobacco. So I like to smell like a, a redneck. Nice. <laughs> He's just enjoying the words Tonka Bean there. No, tonka tonka bean. no I'm kidding. No, I like I like that like kind of like leathery, woody kind of smell. So that's why I recognised oh, okay. there was something in that fragrance that you were wearing me. That was Can like, I just try a smell like <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, it's just yeah. a... <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a new trend going on about about basically using your own secretions. Oh <laughs> we mentioned this before, didn't we? Vabbing. Oh, no, I didn't. So it's not dabbing. It's not very dabbing. different. That's, that's a dance. OK. This You're using dabbing. your own secretions for what? Um, well, from. Uh, it's only available to ladies. It's only available to the ladies? Oh. Yes, so that's using um, basically uh, vaginal essences as perfume. Oh, wow. OK. OK, so how old are these people? And where are these people from? And are they English or are they American? I was waiting for the <laughs> single. Was that, what was <laughs> and what are they into? <laughs> So, yeah, apparently it helps um, attract members of the opposite sex as it releases the, the smells they're attracted to by heterosexual men. OK. Oh, so you go, oh, yeah, cheese, this is great. <laughs> like, oh, you smell... Oh, I can like... smell fanny. <laughs> oh. Where's that coming from? <laughs> oh, it's coming from that lady there. <laughs> Just her wrists, though, that's a bit weird. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So, vab and... vabbing yes. is where... Do you have to, like... Go in there. Oh, you go inside? Go in. I don't get, think you use a get, fist. Get... <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you were doing then. That was quite disturbing. <laughs> Some people might be able to, like, we don't well, judge. <laughs> different kind of dabbing, babbing. 
whatever it's called. <laughs> you go and get some get some fragrance and just dab. Now I I'm going to try that and see if that works. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> what do you think, babe? <laughs> just sat there straining that going. Yeah, slapping. <laughs> <laughs> get out of my house. <laughs> well. So yeah. I. I, I... Do they have something similar for people that have... For gentlemen? Is it, do you stick your finger up your bum? <laughs> it doesn't oh. say so. I mean, doesn't say so? I mean, dogs... Well, that not is... that I'm comparing dogs so to humans. Thinking, for men doing it, would that be smegging? Oh! oh. <laughs> just had to go there. <laughs> Only if you've got a foreskin, now. Yeah. OK. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just end on that. Only Education. if you've got a foreskin. <laughs> Only if you've got a foreskin. And that's all from The Buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. I... Can you get it from Boots? Clapping? Oh, no, I thought, no, it's not from the boots, it's from the vagina. From the, right? yeah, but, yeah. OK. Stay with us as after the break, it's Lee and the Showbiz News. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee, Mike and our guest host, Paris. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Do we like a musical? No. No. Okay. That's <laughs> a good start. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, are you a musical fan? Um, the Sound of Music. The Sound of Julie Music. Julie Andrews is a bit of me. Oh, okay. Wouldn't say no. What about, what about Mrs. Dow? Even Del now. Even oh. now. Even now? Even now. Oh, okay. More so than Madonna. I like the natural look. Yeah, Madonna doesn't really have that. Mm, no. I know. What about Mrs. Doubtfire, the film? What if we combine Mrs. Doubtfire, the film, with a musical? Oh. Because that's what's happening. That's cool. So Mrs. Doubt for the musical is here. Here? Here. Right now. But here in the oh, world. It exists. So, so <laughs> this, was, this came out in America last year and it's now coming over to, to the UK. Um, that, uh, that's obviously a, a, a poster of the original film. Oh, it's sad. Hello, oh, dear. Williams. And this is, a, this is, that was my impression of Mrs. Doubt for. Hello, Hello, dear. Cream in your sugar. God, that was in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is this is a poster of it. So it's it's kind of been recreated in musical form, right. um, and um, it follows the same story of of actor Daniel who splits up with his wife, doing all what he want, what he can to be get. Hello can't speak, um, doing what he can <laughs> to have access to his children's so he creates his alter ego of, of Mrs Doubtfire. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, it's, it's now, it's in Manchester now, Ooh. this very moment, until the end of October, and then it's going on a tour of the country. Um, what? As in different theatres, it's not just going on a bus. Going... No, it's not, you know, <laughs> it's oh, not travelling round. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of kind, Sticking a kai, sticking a pie in people's faces. <laughs> Not going well today, is it? Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so um, the, we haven't got any actual pictures of the kind of like waiting to reveal the actual kind of cast. We've got some pictures of the cast rehearsing. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm assuming that the gentleman in the middle in red, he will be Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay. Is that Marcus um, Collins? Is it who? Is that Marcus Collins? I don't know actually. We have got another picture of of the three of them, um, which. It could be Marcus Collins, What's actually. Marcus oh. Collins. So in the film, that would have been Mrs. Doubtfire, well, Daniel's brother, who was the makeup artist, who lived with his husband, and they kind of, like, did the whole kind of thing. Oh, well, there you go. Um, so what they're saying is a hilarious and heartfelt story about holding on to your loved ones against all odds by cross-dressing. No, it doesn't well, say that. Fraud. Uh, by fraud. By <laughs> fraud, yes. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire was being paid for that job. Yeah. So he wouldn't have been paying tax. Mm oh, okay. Just saying. I just like the film. Yeah. Really. The um, <laughs> when the, when she got drunk, at the restaurant <laughs> at the end, and the and the and the teeth fell into the. Can't pay dentum. See the yeah. test bit. <laughs> little adhesive. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 you can just say Lani, it's hilarious. <laughs> um, not, not laughing with you, Lee. Random fruiting. Drive-by fruiting. Drive-by fruiting, yes. Um, so I, <laughs> I would go and see that. I'd 100% see I that. Think it's, I think it sounds like it would be good. You know, if there's three tickets going, they're Take watching this. <laughs> yeah, um, let's go on to a, to a TV... So this is a film 
version that was a book, made into a film, and now it's been made into a TV version. The interview with the vampire, do you remember this? I do remember that. It oh. was all very homoerotic, wasn't it? <laughs> it's very homoerotic. Very homoerotic, based on the Anne Rice class. gripping the side like that. <laughs> 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 so, before we had the sparkly crap vampires of Twilight and all that stuff. Robert Pattinson. Oh, yeah, we had, we had Lestat de Lioncourt and Louis de Pointe du Lac. We've got them here. That was Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, right? It was, yeah. yeah getting their getting their homoeroticism on. Oh, um, nice. So yeah, in the film, a little bit of numb, a little bit of numb. Which one though? Oh, both at the same both. time. Both. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just pawned for that online. <laughs> got there before Can't I. Be. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I would, two hands for a reason. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> <laughs> you would have I been took the. A minute, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to the drop, You would have been the woman with the bosoms that they they drained. <laughs> the you know, <laughs> sat in the middle, and he goes, "Finish her, Louis." And um, <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so this is being turned into a TV You've series. Day, haven't you? <laughs> it's been turned into a TV series, um, which okay. is um, it, it's it's coming out. I mean, this is another picture of them. Look at his lips. Ooh, big lips. That's just before he turned him into a vampire. I think. I wonder okay. if he used Little Nas X's lipstick that stretches his lips. Quite possibly. Mm. Perhaps popped into the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bought some. <laughs> went back. Um, so it's going to be an eight-part show, um, oh. scheduled later this year, um, and it could be like this first part of a lot of oh, no. of their kind of like. Because she did. She wrote a lot of different books. Um, so here is a picture of the cast. So um, they're, they're going in a little bit of a different direction. Maybe they don't look too happy. You know, perhaps in those days you, you weren't happy when you were a vampire. Um, I don't know. So the actors, Jacob Anderson, <laughs> who is best known for playing the Grey Worm on Game of Thrones. I don't watch Game Grey of Worm. Thrones. Grey Worm. He's not the Grey Worm. No, just Grey Worm. Just Grey Worm. <laughs> the Grey Worm. The Grey Worm. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Grey Worm. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. The Spider-Man. He's just Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Okay. He's, he's playing the role of Louis. Okay. And Australian actor Sam Reed will play... Lestat, um, and they've got some kids playing the girl. <laughs> <laughs> some, some random girl. kid. Some <laughs> random child. Some um, kid off the street. <laughs> yeah. You'll so, do. <laughs> you look a bit vampire-y. Um, so, yeah, so it's all, it's kind of... Uh, <laughs> vampire-y? Yeah, I look a bit pale. <laughs> you look like death, come on, you, yeah. love you. <laughs> you look like you could live forever. Um, so, yeah, it's scheduled to come out in October this year on AMC. Whatever, that's a streaming channel. But it's not, not an English one, though. Is it not? But can you have one of those little dongle things that you can... You're talking Naughty, not, naughty Netflix? Naughty Netflix, yeah. Can, oh. you, can you watch it on that, can't you? Possibly on Naughty Netflix. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I look forward to that one. Um, <laughs> so final bit of showbiz news. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, cute. Oh, now, when we think of Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> this is not cute. When we think of Winnie the Pooh, it's kind of the Disney-esque type... We'll, oh. oh, isn't it cute? It's got no pants on, though. I know. That was always... None of none them have, of have pants, pants on. Oh, yeah. None of them wear right. pants. Yeah. Oh. Piglet's the worst, because all he ever wears is a scarf when it's cold. Oh. oh. Piglet's okay. got nips out and everything. OK. Anyway, so <laughs> basically, what's happened here... <laughs> Piglet is a bottom, I know it. Yes, Piglet is a bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to go... But they're nothing... I, I think that would be... I think that's too obvious. I think he totally reams... You, you, think, you think he's an aggressive power top? Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, it's so dear. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and he's take going, it, bitch. Oh, piglet. Like that. <laughs> that was my, that was my name. Anyway. Peeking the sheets, that's, piglet. That's not, that's not <laughs> the sexual preferences of, of cartoon characters. So, <laughs> Disney, the, fra the, the kind of rights to Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Tigger or Grider going H&H. &H. <laughs> <laughs> the, the rights to Winnie the Pooh have run out and Disney have not... It's out of copyright. Out of copyright, which means that anybody can make a version of Winnie the Pooh. Anything you want to Winnie the Pooh. Dude, so now we have, got, we have got the first of these, which is called <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, which is an upcoming horror film. Oh, my um, God, that's so... awful. <laughs> It, so, it looks like um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I think that's what they're kind of going that's for. So it is basically it's a horror <laughs> retelling. Like Pennywise has had bad surgery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, <hang on. laughs> um, so it basically retells the story of Winnie the Pooh, but in a horror slant. So basically, <laughs> what happens is that Winnie the Pooh and Piglet become, oh, they become bloodthirsty murderers. 
Okay. When Christopher Robin abandons them for college. So he has, he's like, he goes to college, forgets all about them, leaves them. They're not happy about it. Um, and uh, uh, so what happens is he, a couple of years later, he finishes college, goes back home, and then they go and kill people. So, yeah, so he... he <laughs> Oh, ew. It's, uh, <laughs> ew, that's what Piglet looks like? Yeah, they're not cute. Oh, they're, wow. They're... <laughs> but she is, though. <laughs> she's having the time of her she's life. She's having the best life. I think she's the best dead. Life. Oh. I think she's been stabbed. Are you sure? Mm, oh, well. Yeah. So, apparently, oh, what well. happens that's... is... Oh, never mind. <laughs> is Piglet and um, Winnie the Pooh just watching someone have a bath? Yeah. Are they tugging one out? Well, you can't see Who that. You can't see. You know. So basically, Christopher <laughs> Robin goes, comes back from college and stop visiting them completely. This causes Pooh and Piglet to become completely feral and unhinged, resulting in them killing Eeyore and the others, and they <laughs> eat them. Right, I need to see what this Eeyore <laughs> person looks like, because... <laughs> so they've eaten the rest of the characters. Christopher Robin comes back to the forest with his new wife, hoping to introduce her to his old friends. That's not going to go down well, is it? Um, feeling betrayed, this results in them going on a murderous rampage, as, as a rampage for human flesh, as they antagonise a group of university girls... Oh, university girls. Oh, uh, right, OK. In an, occupying a rural cabin. Oh, that, so that'll be the like, I'm just having a bath. Oh, no, Ooh, I oh, fell. No, yeah. Oh, and then Piglet so... comes and goes... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Never do that noise again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Now, <laughs> I mean, I was just slightly concerned that it's like going, oh, this is my new fiance. Let's go back and meet my childhood, like, friends. Yeah. Hello. Toys. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it, well they're that's, not that's anymore. That's not isn't they're it? Rabid. It's not Toy Story anymore. No. <laughs> now, it hasn't been given a release date yet. So we'll we'll have to kind of keep our... The trailer is online. Go on YouTube, watch the trailer. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, will, will we ever look at Winnie the Pooh the same after this? I don't know. But... If you're up for a bit of bit of meat eating. <laughs> if you're up for a bit of piglet and poo, <laughs> why not? <laughs> piglet and poo action. Go for it. Yeah. And I think, I think we better end the show business there before I incriminate myself anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks for that, Lee. Looks like poo really did hit the fan there. Stick around as coming up we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Musical Roulette. And this one is for our very own virgin gin and tonic that is Lee. So off you pop. Go on, watch out for the light bulb. I don't understand what that reference means. Game of the Week. This game, I'm going to spin the Lazy Susan Roulette of pop music and it will land on either music, well it's all music, but rock, <laughs> soundtracks, pop or 80s. I will read out the question and the first person to buzz in who thinks they got the answer gives the answer and gets the point right. Okay, so I'm just spinning it. Who decorated this Lazy Susan, by the way? Somebody who got a, got a C in their GCSE art. <laughs> <laughs> what in the GCSE art is this? <laughs> Love um, it though. We're on, we're at pop. Oh, hop. Okay. I might be okay with this one. What did Snoop Dogg change his name to in 2012? Mr. Snoop Dogg. That would not be correct. Snoop Doggy Dog? <laughs> no. You can't have Little uh, Bow Wow. No, that's somebody completely different. You can't have unlimited guesses. <laughs> like, no one told me the rules. <laughs> Bony M. <laughs> no, the question, the answer to this section is finished of this question. Oh. It was Snoop Lion. Oh. I don't remember that. So just to clarify, we can only have one smash. Right? Yes. Okay. Cool. One, one go, yes. Okay, I shall, spi <laughs> I shall spin again. <laughs> we can only have one smash. <laughs> Ooh, that was a, that, that went You're very through. very aggressive with that spin. Oh, rock. Oh. Do that again. <laughs> That's my rock. It's a cat in pain somewhere. Is that a cat or a... <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's your question. Question. Leonard Skinyard 
had a massive he hit. <laughs> hit. <laughs> massive hit with which song that was in the t- that was oh, oh Jesus I'll start that again. Um, <laughs> Leonard Skynard had a massive hit with which song that was also the title of a film starring Reese Witherspoon. It's not Legally Blonde, is it? It isn't. No. Do, do believe it was just the one guess, but you know. <laughs> Legally Blonde too. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know the answer. Batman Forever. That was Alicia Silverstone. Yeah, she wasn't in Batman. All right, no, it was Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, I, I've, I've not seen that one. I haven't either. Sweet Home Alabama. Right, I know the song, though. Oh. I just like the name being with a spoon. <laughs> or without. Yeah, exactly. Oh, soundtracks. Okay, okay. Which musical movie set on a Greek island was also the title of an Abba Oh, track? I know this one. Mamma Mia. It was indeed. Well done, you. Mamma well done, Mia. you. <laughs> <laughs> I said Mamma Mia 2 and also been right. Mamma Mia 2. <laughs> but Does the answer mean... on the card is Mamma Mia. Oh. That was my first answer. Okay. <laughs> The points have been broken. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the points have been broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's soundtracks again. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Will Smith rapped about a fictional government agency in which 1990s... Can we just let the question I be I feel finished? like you know the answer because you've played it before. <laughs> <laughs> in which 1997 film? Can I buzz now? What? Can I oh, buzz? Well, because cannibals. you shouted at me for buzzing. Sorry, can I, I finish my question? Heat. Um, you can buzz now. You buzz first anyway. Men in Black too. No. Men in Black. Oh yes. Oh. Hmm. From now on, let me finish the question before you press the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Finning. Oh, pop. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Led by Mike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's cheating. Cheating. <laughs> Led by Mike Skinner, can you name the UK garage group that shot to fame with their debut album in 2002? Dry your eyes, mate. Oh, sorry, that was a bit aggressive. <laughs> The streets? It was, yes. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> good, good. Point I... given to the radio DJ. Credentials. <laughs> <laughs> By singing the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me. Well, you say singing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm spinning it again. Oh, rock. <laughs> That did not land it on It did. Right then. <laughs> it, oh, this is a hard one. Um, in what year? Something I said last night. Ah! <laughs> I knew Ba-dum. you were going to do something like that. In which year did the kinks form? Now, what kind of kink? <laughs> 1969. Well, close, but no. I like kink 69. Go for it, Paris. Uh, this is a really wild guess, like 2000... No. No? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Nin- you, it's no. Ni- definitely 19-something. Oh, well, I've missed my go now. You know, have a random answer, guess. So. Uh, 1996? No. 1964. I, I don't know what... I don't know what, what, what do the kings yeah, sing? Kings did, uh, oh, I was thinking one. of the kooks. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like... Right, yeah, the, the kooks, kooks the kinks, the rolling who? <laughs> <laughs> Modern music, ladies. Getting don't kooks know that. and kinks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. It's okay, that don't work on the radio, it's fine. I know. <laughs> Another rock. Slash. Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> Slash from Guns N' Roses was born in which country? He's the one with the big hair and the top hat. He is, well done you. Smokes a lot. Yes. Plays well, guitar. Plays guitar. Hmm. Hmm. 
What are you going to say? Algeria. No. Uh, USA? No. He was born in the UK. What? Slash? Yes. He does give me no further facts, so if you're asking, you know, if you want to know more, I can't give you <laughs> He's that. He's from Birmingham. <laughs> What's his favourite <laughs> phrase? That is up to you to Google later. <laughs> Eighties. Again. Oh, OK, who, song, who sang the song I Know What Boys Like? Oh! I know what boys like. I know what they want. One. Um, <laughs> that's literally the only line I know from the song. You know more of it than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it was was it, it featured in Friends at one point? I think that song. Oh well, if it was in Friends, that really, <laughs> should, that really relate to, isn't it? Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> A well-known top ten hit, <laughs> I Know What Boys Like, uh, by Barbara Streisand. No, it was... <laughs> I haven't had a guess yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike. I have no idea. You don't, do you? Liza Minnelli. <laughs> good guess. No, good guess, not right. I know That's what I was like. Um, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was some kind of Liza Minnelli impression. Um, it was the waitresses. <laughs> oh, right, They were yeah. presumed, did they do the Christmas one? The waitresses, the du, 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 du. Christmas what? wrapping. Yeah, the waitresses, the waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Woodmouse. Woodmouse. <laughs> the waitresses. Woodmouse. Oh my god. Parking. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, oh, how much time have we got? got one still... more. Well, one one more. more. Okay. <laughs> I know that. Yes, I was right. The, the gallery are telling me. Pop. Okay. Oh, this is a modern, well, relatively not modern. Which rapper topped the UK charts in 2010 with Pass Out? <laughs> Whose was that? Me. Paris. I've got two names in my head. You have to pick one. Labyrinth. No. Mike. Tiny Angry Man, Tiny Temper. It was. Oh, tiny I was going to say Tiny. Oh. oh. I'm so disappointed in myself. Now then, who who, who, who won there? Who, who is the morning radio DJ? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. And, <laughs> a draw. Oh, it's a draw. Oh. oh, does that mean we have to have like a sudden death? It's a bit harsh. It's on I mean, TV show. Well, <laughs> <laughs> to the kill. <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> Just fade to black. I've been told to lower any expectations I have as up next. We've got something called Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we go over to the man who once spent 11 minutes making a bowl out of a bowl. It's Lee and Crafty Queens. Mike, I think you'll find that that range is top seller in home bargains, now bowl from a bowl, um, and I'm rolling in it. We're talking it. Mm -hmm. So today, we're going to be making... Have you ever seen those, like, inflatable, waving, wacky... Plenty of arm tube guys. Yes. Yeah, we're going to make our own version of that using stuff. <laughs> Is it the ones that you get at the garage that are like this? Yeah. Woo, right, wee, gotcha. wacky. Yeah. Just like Only I smaller just want to do and... that, <laughs> Smaller and shitter. Um, so before you, you have... You have um... Smaller and shitter are crafty queens? <laughs> <laughs> you do surprise me, Lee. Well, um, so... What I would like you to do first is take hold of your, your your paper cup and your straw. And what I would like you to do, um, not right at the very bottom, but sort of like towards the bottom of the um, paper cup, I would like you to make a hole just big enough for the straw to pop through. You've right, so not with the straw. Not with the straw, with the sharp implement. <laughs> so with the scissors, you want us to make a hole, not with the straw make a hole. But the straw is going in the hole. OK. So you don't want it too big and you don't want it too small. 
just so it can snugly fit through. Okay. I have made mine slightly too small. Mine's just the right size. I'm just making a hole. And seconds. then when you've made your hole, push your <laughs> straw in, not all the way through to the other side, but just so that it's um, kind of midway through. It's like a, a really bad corn cob pipe. A really bad what? Corn cob pipe. Oh. One of those things that you put... <laughs> really good. That you put... Um, <laughs> Because a pipe. Candles out with poof. In my youth, I used to smoke a pipe. Did you? No, you didn't. In my youth. I, I did because <laughs> I was smoking 80 a day. Oh. Right, Marlborough Red. That's a lot. And I found it was quicker for me to smoke a pipe. So I was in college smoking a pipe. <laughs> the only way I could get the nicotine <laughs> in my bloodstream was quick enough. Wow, my God. Oh, my God. Who were you? Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> I, I, I was wearing a lot of glitter and denim and smoking a pipe. I was confusing to a lot of people of small yes. town Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> glittery, glittery, sp smoking a pipe. Did you go poop, poop? When you <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I was Popeye. <laughs> okay, right. Well, so we've 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 done that. We've we've put the straw through the cup. Uh -huh. Now, what would you like to do? To take your um, your polythene glove. And one that looks like udders, right? Yes. Have that in front of you with the fingers, paci fingers facing away from you. And, and what you're going to do is you have a sheet that's got some sticky circles. Uh -huh. And what I want you to do is to peel off a sticky circle and stick it on to each finger. Now, the sticky circles are bigger than the fingers. Is that they the are. That's fine. Just kind of pop them on. Do I need to do the thumb as well? Yes. I keep saying I. I keep forgetting that Paris has been inflicted with this as well. It's this is just... quite exciting. Oh. I really, I, I can't wait to see the end result. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> 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 so they feel that life having a way. Um, so, right, once you've got your circles on your fingers, uh -huh. What you're going to do is, with the pens that I've provided, you're going to draw eyeballs in the centre of each circle. Okay, that's... Um, however you want to, you know, you, uh, you can use whatever artistic um, talent you have. Right, I'm, I'm done. I'm so yeah, the, 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 the eyes are sticking themselves to the table. Yeah, just just make just gently release them. <laughs> <laughs> gently release them. Um, I'm going to also take a circle and put it in the middle, sort of like the palm area. That's going to create a mouth. Now, is I, it my, really? Mine's going ooh, but if you want to cut yours in half, you can make it ooh. <laughs> um, you, <laughs> <laughs> you can you can cut it in half and make a like a smiley mouth if you, if you if you show you truth. Were you were you a fan of the the Art Attack when you were a child, Paris? Art Attack, yeah, I used to love watching that. I used to love. This is nothing like that. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm living my my dream and actually being a. <laughs> Being, yes, I'm very inspired by Art Attack. I can see you are too. I think we, I think we'd done some, some, something where he, uh, what's he called? Something Neil Buchanan. Neil Buchanan was in his seventies, and I was like, no. Yeah. He's and he's not Banksy. And he's not Banksy. Okay, so where are we up to over there? I'm just questioning our lives and why we bother. <laughs> I've got a mouth. It's ready. Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Someone Christ. said that before. <laughs> <laughs> so take hold of your your cup or your little pipe, as, as Mike has said, and take. No, right. What do we need to do first? This is right. Okay. So this is where I've done. I've gone slightly awry. Um, take a rubber band. <laughs> okay. And you want to kind of put that rubber band so it's on the um, cup. Going to take the straw out, put the rubber back. Yeah, and put take the straw, the straw out. Yeah. My straw. You don't have to if you don't want to. Said so I'm just going to. Right. And have you reinserted your straw? I have. Okay. So now what you want to do is get your glove, open it up, and put it over the top 
of your cup and then get your, your rubber band to secure the plastic because what the trick is you want to get the rubber band so that there is it's trapping sealing that's sealing the the plastic of the because you it's creating a vacuum now unlike wow. many of these things that i do i did try this at home first and it did work. Okay, so he went, we've got a guest in for <laughs> once, we better make this work. <laughs> look at how pathetic mine looks. <laughs> I don't think anybody looks non-pathetic at this point, Paris, it's fine. So once you've, once, you've managed to get, <laughs> once you've managed to get the rubber band kind of sealing it, uh -huh. you can like pull the, the, the glove up a little bit so that there's not so much overhanging. Because the more glove you've got, the more effect you will get. More glove, more love. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to blow into mine. Re be prepared to, to be amazed. And okay. underwhelmed. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and then you can, <laughs> you can suck the air out of it. Oh, it's disappeared completely! <laughs> And then, oh, I'm, I'm so impressed by this. Then blowing again. Oh, oh, oh my, right. Well, it, that worked pretty much. So let's, let's see. If... <laughs> I mean, there's lots of sucking and blowing involved. Well, let me try mine. So you want me to blow first, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it did it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Success. A little bit of plastic went there. <laughs> and you, I know when you were like saying, God, I wish I could have a career in television. <laughs> and it's happened. It's actually, do you know what? You know how Phoebe from Friends gives those gifts that she makes us off <laughs> I feel like this is a really good gift. To it give is, to isn't it? Totally. Like, yeah. You don't like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I really don't like you. Here's a gift. <laughs> of my fetid breath. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth something one day, you know. Oh, look at this. Look at... Oh, it's filled. It's Oh, it's, oh, it's nice. I didn't go in. I just had a troop. Oh. You just got very excited, didn't you? <laughs> it, went, it went up and then down very quickly. Oh. oh. Remember, people, if you can't get yourself any peen or any vagine, be a crafty queen. If you need to get a taxi, really handy as well. Hey, taxi. Taxi! They're not going to think you're... Yeah. That's <laughs> all. So. Uber. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember, you can join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube or podcast service, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and thank you again for being with us today, Paris. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Well, see you all soon. Bye! Bye.